get started, first we launch the wizard. On the first panel of the wizard, there are several settings that apply to the overall import. Next, we'll drag two files into the wizard directly. You can browse for them from inside the wizard, but this way is a little bit faster sometimes. The files that are imported are scanned so that we can then map their properties to building designers. The first panel lets you map them to a category inside of building designer. There's a big long list that's a lot easier to just type in a few characters of what you want and that'll search for those strings inside of what's already defined. The next panel picks which types you want to import from Revit to building designer. These will become your catalog entries later. You'll then go on to map the, part, the materials in Revit to building designer part and families. Like the previous panels, you, these, are, these do have the ability to search. So you can type in a few characters and then search for whatever it is that you're looking for without having to scroll through the entire huge list. Next, you'll need to map the properties of the RFAs to building designer objects. The properties that you're seeing are a list of all the properties available for that category of building designer elements. With this mapping complete, you'll be able to correctly schedule and report any of the objects that you bring in as an RFA, and they'll look and act just like native building designer elements. Once you're finished with the wizard, we'll open up the Edit Catalog tool and take a look at those items in our catalog. Once this is open, you'll see the types that we selected previously listed in our catalog. Now we'll switch over and take a look at some mechanical items. We've already imported a hot water heater and an air handling unit. We'll grab a duct tool, and that duct tool is capable of locking on to the connection point that was in the RFA. Since the connection point in RFA knew that this only could connect ducts, we also have that same feature in Building Designer. You'll also notice that if I drag that duct tool up over a pipe, it won't work. The connections are utility specific, so they can only work for their own discipline. In order to connect to a pipe, we'll switch over, connect to the pipe, or select the pipe tool, zoom in a little, and you'll see that there are four different connections there, each one of which we can connect to a pipe to.